Hi Virgo, this is Jackie Tomlin and today we are combining videos. I'm under some time constraints. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a tarot card reading for your month of January 2018. But then stick around because then we're psychically going to take some look at some highlights that you have upcoming for 2018 as well. If you guys are seeking a psychic reading, please contact me at JackieTomlin.com. You'll find a link to those readings below this video. Also, in regards to going into <clears throat> 2018 and taking a look at things that way, if you guys are interested in an email report for your year that's more personalized to you, please look up the one-year forecast on my site that is available for purchase. So let's start. This is for Virgo for January of 2018. Virgo, we start with the Ace of Wands, followed by the King of Swords, followed by the Queen of Wands, Major Arcana of the Tower, the Three of Cups, and Major Arcana of the Devil. So let me break this down for you guys. Um, starting with, we're looking at the Ace of Wands, showing you guys are coming into a new year, a new beginning. Next, I do see you surrounded by many people. Okay, I just want to throw that out there. Looking with that King of Swords, this is someone, this could be a male or female because it's a general video, but this is someone that could lash out at you, um, maybe insult you, just cross you wrong. And beside that, we showed that your balance is quickly restored from it. But moving forward, we have this combination. The tower is a complete and total disruption. This is a confrontation of some sorts. There is also a celebration with the need to cut your ties with this particular individual. And yes, this is an individual that you're going to have to cut the ties with and walk away. Moving forward, you guys have the Six of Swords. You have the Five of Cups. And you have the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Swords. You're leaving problems behind. You're pushing forward into the calm waters, but you're doing so in a very, very positive light. Five of Cups, get out of your own head. Don't overthink things. Go with the flow in the month of January. And beside that, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, indicating that you're working and gaining and financial balance is being restored. So, Virgo, what you need to know for January... Okay, you've got a disruption and a confrontation and you're cutting your ties with someone. Uh, for my single Virgos out there, this could be someone in your love life. Just want to throw that out there. Okay, guys, so moving on into some psychic insights for you guys for 2018. Um, like I said, these are broad in general, so I want to um, really make sure that we understand that. What we're looking at is you guys, um, you're very assertive in getting things done and getting your points across in 2018. Um, also, in regards to money, there is new doors and new opportunities being presented to you. Now, this is not you out seeking another job. These are opportunities that are actually you're going to be approached with. Um, and from that, it looks like you're just building your goals. You're building your goals from that as well um and like i said it's just it's something that's coming to you also a very spiritual year for virgo i think i saw a little bit of that in 2017 definitely looking at in 2018 communication is good for 2018 but it's also knowing what deserves your energy in other words what i'm seeing is kind of like a reiki shift here you uh kind of know what is deserving of stressing over and what is not deserving of stressing over that's huge that's huge in itself there are some changes on the home front for you guys in 2018 and there's also a need to speak up and voice your opinion so remember that that comes in under your home life in regards to the love life, I see decisions being made, okay? Um, for my single, for my coupled and in a relationship Virgos, 
you may be rethinking your options, okay? But for my single Virgos, the significant time of the year for a long-term relationship comes into fall of 2018. Um, it does show that you're victorious in your health, which is very important. Um, and the unexpected, there is news of travel. Not abroad, I'm going to say maybe out of state or something, but it kind of comes in unexpectedly. And it's, you know, juggling to make this trip happen, but you're also very excited, like high school kid, excited about this trip. And things are going along well there. Uh, is a year about getting your wishes fulfilled, but maybe not in the manner that you thought that they would take place. It's a year about restoring your balance. It's a year about working on you. And one of the things that I really see Virgo concentrating on in 2018 is your self-esteem. So definitely positive changes there, whether these are self-help classes or books or the spirituality, but definitely coming out of any self-esteem issues for Virgo. Business overall looks great um, for whatever reason. I don't know if I've got musicians out there or if I've got those that just love music, but I'm seeing a lot of live music venues falling in under Virgo this year. Um, you guys, I'm not going to say you're a loner, but you know when you want your time alone. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just getting those around you to really respect that that, you know, you have decisions to make. And sometimes, Virgo, you're one of the few signs that I can say that some of the best ideas you ever come with, come up with comes out of your bare frustration. So there's going to be a few of those moments in 2018 as well. When is your time to shine? Summer. You've got a busy, busy summer ahead. You've got a busy summer in your personal life. You have a busy summer in your work and career. That's going to be the struggle for balance that I find for Virgo. But it's an amazing time of the year for you. Also coming in strong, winter of next year for Virgo. Uh, winter is looking like big player there. It's going to be the love life. Whether you're a couple or whether you're single, there's a big player there. So, ultimately, I'm, I don't think it's going to be a bad year for Virgo. I think it's going to be a little bit stronger than it was in 2017. And let's be honest, it doesn't look like 2017 was too bad of a year. So, thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Bye.